Okay, so listen. I had good intentions. And that's all I'm going to say. Hey everyone, this is Alicia Costanzo, and welcome back to my channel. I am attempting an experiment to wake up early to see if that increases my productivity. I'm not that great at getting up at 6am unless I actually have to go to work, so this is going to be rough. Yeah, let's, let's just get started. Alright, good morning. It is 6.45, I've got up at 6.30. Yesterday I got up at 7. We're doing an experiment, since I don't have work anymore, to see productivity. Me is business. I'm tired. I'm gonna go back to bed. Yeah. First things first, this is August. Let's go to my daily tasks. I have anything to do. recording. I have my homework work done, nearly, and I've just been fiddling with a book and with Canva, making covers and doing this other stuff. Yep. I don't feel like I've been particularly productive because I've just been doing a little piddly shit, so... But... Hopefully... After this break, I can actually get something solid done, like maybe edit a story. It'd be good. So I've just started again, and I wanted to pause to elaborate on this whole anxiety thing. Because I've just, I have just made my Goodreads for my pen name, and I need to get into Weebly, to, which is my website maker, to pull some things, and I'm thinking, oh. I'm signed into my other one. There's so much I have to change on that website. But it just dumps all this cold anxiety right on me. <sighs> that I'm responsible for, like, everything online for the business, other than my partner pushing things and engaging our authors. So, I'm feeling the pressure. I should be way ahead of where I am right now, so, yeah. Mm. Mm. Anxiety. The only thing I can do is keep pushing and keep getting shit done, because otherwise nothing's going to get done and then it's going to get worse, so. Reality check. I just wanted to show you guys how many websites I actually edit on this site. Let's look at the real one. This is my real website, first page. Currently. And the new one looks so much better. So I've got one story edited. Made me get another one, which wasn't terrible the first time I went through it. This one I feel like I had to do a lot of the same things to it, so that was frustrating. Certainly not near as many things as last time, just I know I repeated myself. And maybe I can get the, the two stories done. I got my freebie done, I think, and then I can get some writing done, and then my table of contents. It's 1.45 by the way, we just finished lunch. So I'm, I'm in a pretty good spot for the middle of the day. I did not take my workout break because the boys were gone getting a weed whacker. I'm hoping tomorrow or later today if they go out and mow again tonight after dinner, I might go for a walk. And since it's after dinner, it'll be a leisurely walk because I get achy off of belly. So, alright, I'm going to go back to work. So I was actually up before my alarm today. <laughs> and I feel a little bit more awake today. It is 6.30 again, as you saw. I'm doing a week at 6.30, and I'm gonna do a week at 6, and then a week at 5.30. See which one of those times is best for me productively. Yesterday was hella productive, so. It's all bad. Making coffee. Yeah.
this is what I'm working on currently. I am trying to do some more marketing stuff, and so I am making little images with my covers, and it's currently just, you know, for some more marketability. I've got one story edited already. It's not even nine, it's 8.45. I've already taken my break, put my contacts in. Gonna smash a workout with Chloe Ting and Eva Fitness. And then go edit another story. Maybe make some breakfast, I'm kinda hungry. I'm usually hungry this early, but yeah. All right, I'm gonna go work out. Today it was harder to get up. I don't wanna be awake right now. I went to bed at 10.30. By that I mean I was in bed at 10 and laid there. <laughs> oh, yesterday was a productive day. I was pretty much done with all the shit on my list by 2. And then I fiddled around with my bullet journals and book stuff. And I cooked dinner. And then I, I wrote. And then I read. So, decent day. But today I just feel like... <sighs> I need some coffee. So I got a video done. Goes up tomorrow on my Transmundane channel. I am 12 pages through, 12 of 21 pages through a story. I'm on the second round of edits. And I just got an email about an interview for an online teaching assistant, which I know how to teach. And I know this sounds terrible, but it really depends on the pay and what I'm gonna be, what my responsibilities are. It is part-time and it's completely at home, so this might help me out a bit, might ease some of my anxiety. And I got an hour and a half to finish this story and be ready to talk to this woman. So I'm excited, I'm nervous. Yes, update. I'm gonna go back to work. He had to inspect it for me. Now that he is satisfied, it's my filming station on the outside, and all of my cars. Kitty, what are you doing down there? And he's back inspecting. He just wants to see out of the window. Frodo, what are you doing? Making sure everything smells okay? Does it all smell okay? You can't get in the shoes, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> oh yeah. Good morning. <laughs> it is once again 6.30, well 6.40, and it's still kind of hard to wake up even though I've been up for the last hour and a half trying to sleep while the cat screams at me and my bladder is full and just hard to sleep. In 20 minutes, I'm going to start my 12 hour challenge. It's a good way to end a week, right? Yeah. So it is 7-11. I failed today at getting up at 6. My alarm went off and I went, nope. And I called back in bed. But come 6.45, my cat woke me up because he was hungry and stood on my chest and screamed until I got up. I'll try again tomorrow for 6 and maybe go to bed a little bit earlier than 11 because that didn't work. So I did end up waking up at 6 and actually getting out of bed and have my coffee and I've been doing stuff for the last hour so I feel like today's going to be a nap day though. I don't know why I'm not feeling productive but I'm struggling to pay attention to shit right now. It's almost 8. I don't, I don't fucking know. I don't. I don't know. I've got a whole five pages edited. This is bullshit. Funny. Bunny. Lives in the wood pile. Bunny. 
Got up at 6 again today. Actually, I got up at 5.50. Waking up before my alarm, so the change in my system is starting to work. I did also go to bed at like 8 last night. But I have a job interview today at 9, so I am just preparing for that. Wish me luck. Well, I was up before my alarm again, so the week of 6 o'clock has been successful so far. I wonder how 5.30 is going to do. I make faces a lot. I'm gonna get into work because I forgot something yesterday. It's not good. It's not good. It was 8.30 in the morning. It's almost 9 in the morning. I got up late because it's Sunday and I get to sleep in on the weekends. I do think that's a little bit damaging to my sleep schedule though, so I might have to limit myself to like 7 or 8 for my sleeping in. But <sighs> let's change over to the day and start working. My week has ended. I get to fill this one. I completed that one last night. I'm halfway through that one. I'm halfway through that one. So, let's see. I got my month September started. I actually filled this in for once. I'm not finished filling this one, but it's going to be my, in my new week. But, as you can see, all the edits I have to do, I need to finish my edit twos this week. Send them out in order to get this publication out on time. So I'm going to finish them all this week. I can do it. I know I can. Y'all, that was one of the best interviews of my life. Even if I do not get this job, those two were amazing. I absolutely loved that conversation that we got to have. It was, uh, it was just so much fun. And talking about kitties. I love kitties. Okay. Okay. Oh, I hope I get this job. That was so much fun. Okay. Okay guys, this week's experiment, or part of the experiment, my god, my hair is crazy. It's clean, it's just, anyways, you don't care about my hair. I tried to get up at 5.30 this week. It did not happen once. Now, I take the weekends off, and that might be my downfall, because I slept till 9 today, because it's Saturday. And Monday, I got up late. I went and chopped. I had an interview. I talked to my dad for two hours. So I didn't do any writing or reading or any of that stuff. Didn't do any work either. But I was so crazy from that. The next day I got up at 6.30. Even though I set my alarm for 5.30. Is, I'm going to bed too late is the problem. If I go to bed between 9 and 10, I can get up at 5.30 and 6. But all week it was 1, 6, 6.30, 7, 8.30, 8.30, 8.30, 8.30. Part of the reason for the rest of the week is honestly, I was depressed. I had an excellent, excellent interview for a job I really wanted and somebody else got the job, which happens. I'm just a little bit heartbroken from it. And so I've just hard to get back on the saddle again with my hopes dashed because I really need to get out of the house. I really need to find an income that can sustain me and my family. My credit cards are maxing out, you know, all those things and are stressful right now, especially since I quit my job. Still not regretting that because honestly, the amount of cases that have boomed in Oklahoma because of schools, colleges included, I'd just rather be safe. But still worried about feeding my family. So, still applying to a ton of places. And that's just the, the honesty here because I'm depressed that I don't have a job is keeping me from getting up in the morning. It should be, you know, making me my job. So, it's not conducive to what I'm actually trying to do. So, next week, I'm going to try one more time 5.30. I'm pretty sure 6 is going to be my time, but I'm going to try 5.30 because, I don't know, just the extra half hour of me getting shit done. Because next week, my son also starts school, online school, which means I have to clean out my office, which you can see a bit of it in the background. It needs cleaned. You've seen it. It needs cleaned. I'm going to get rid of all of my teacher stuff. 
not get rid of, but like all of the piles of old papers and portfolios and those types of things are gonna go. I'm gonna rearrange and put away my teacher stuff because I don't need it anymore. I didn't need most of it anyways. I've been teaching the same thing for years now. And we're gonna move him into my room for the second half of the day. So the first half of my day, I'm gonna try a new routine, is going to be working. I'm almost on my edit, so like this is this project's almost done and I don't have to worry about that anymore. So it's gonna be me writing in the morning and then working while he works over here, over that way, in his school work. So in case he needs me, I'll be doing stuff that I don't need as an intensive a brain of. So marketing and that type of thing will happen then and then winding down at night. So here's hoping that once this project is done, 5.30s, 6, whatever the hell time it is, early in the morning, I can get my shit done and maybe start making some money on the shit that I do now. That would be nice. That would be really nice. Anyways, there's my update on a failed experiment of the week. I didn't record most of it because I, I wasn't doing it, <laughs> so. And I was depressed, and it's really not fun to see me when I'm depressed. I'm still kind of depressed, but I'm feeling better about it. I've applied to quite a few more places since. I'm gonna go to work now and do my shit. Get this project done, because I'm almost there. Ooh, wouldn't that update? How many more stories do I have to edit? Ten more stories, and then I've already started putting my proof together, and I can order a copy for Anthony in myself to go over it one more time and then it's going up live at the end of the month. Holy shit. You hear my Frodo. I don't know what's gone in him with this crying all the time. I think he misses Asheron and Tekken. We, we all do. They're up there though. Right, right there. Asheron, Tekken. Sadness. I'm gonna go now and work. So it's 6.40, but I did end up getting up at 6 today. Holy cow, I also went to bed at 9.30. That helped. Back on track a little bit, at least day one. It is Monday, so let's see if I can keep up with this all week. I hope so. I'm definitely going to take a nap today, though, because i got to go shopping. And that wears me out. I'm going to get some work done before that happens. It is 6.24. I made my coffee. I'm at my desk. I fed the cats. Day two in a row of 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm, I'm getting there again. Let's hope it sticks. I'm tired and I want to go back to sleep. I'm gonna go work now. Yep. So y'all, I finally made it up at six again. And it twice this week before now. It is Saturday 26th. Yeah. It's been like three weeks since the last time I was able to get up at six regularly. And today, there's only two reasons that I'm up. Well, one real big reason that I'm up. I have an interview at eight with one of my authors on his podcast for our on-time anthology, so I'm going to show you guys what that looks like a little bit. My husband stuck Frodo in the box because he started at 3.30 this morning bugging me for food. This is why I haven't been getting up early, but starting next week on my birthday, October 1st, I don't know why I'm doing this to myself, I'm gonna start getting up at 5.30 because one, the cat wakes me up early anyways, but also because I want to get into that new NaNoWriMo routine. I think 5.30 is gonna be my goal, which is ridiculous. If I think about it, I naturally kind of get up at 4.30. Isn't that gross? I kind of naturally get up at 4.30. And I don't know if that's from years of being the baker at Dunkin' Donuts when I used to have to work at 4, but I'm just, I always wake up at that time and then I go back to sleep. So what if I just woke up at that time? I don't know. We're gonna stick with 5.30. Anyways, I don't really need to tell you that it's been weeks because how would you know? But let's be honest here. This is a struggle to get up early and let's see how far I get by the end of the month. I'll keep this going until October 1st and then I'm finally gonna, no matter where I am in this experiment, I'm gonna close it down. So quick update for you guys. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. I'm not very great at speaking, at speaking. I'm a writer. I like to write because I can revise things that I said when I don't say them right the first time. So, this is gonna be interesting. Yeah, I mean, I have, I have my notes for the interview, but yeah, yeah. So I've mentioned many times in this podcast that I think new authors should read and write short stories. It's a, a very good tool for for you to learn how to be efficient and to do more with less and to master your craft. My, my writing philosophy is efficiency is everything. Like most, most problems can be answered through efficiency, cutting words that you don't need, finding different ways to phrase things, things like that. Um, and short stories really help you master that. 
and then it also helps you build your your author brand as well is there anything else you want to say on that topic before we move on i do think i like the not just having um all of that tension in all the different stories but having so many different voices is also really interesting and i know we talked a little bit about getting to know the authors but being able to see how people can create a, a reaction in somebody in so many different ways is also appealing and, and the interesting part of putting stories together uh, especially when you have 70 plus and you're trying to figure out how they all piece together i can't tell you how many hours it took me with these little pieces of paper moving them around and moving them around and moving them around and even then and they had to come back like this one might not go there and this one might because you try to tell a story within a, a whole bunch of stories and have an arc to it and it's just I don't know. I just love the whole process of putting things together. I'm such a nerd. So, you, so um, you're talking. You're talking actually about ordering the stories within the book and structuring the entire book and having a plan for that as well. That's something I actually yeah. haven't really thought of a lot. I didn't think a lot about it in the first few because we had so few stories, but being able to say why you have a story in the place that it does is very gratifying. And knowing that I'm not just putting you last because I don't like you. <laughs> I'm putting <laughs> you there because that's where the story ends as the whole culmination of everything leads to. And also not having voices that clash with each other too close together as well or stories that clash or are too similar and all those other things. You have to think about those uh, because we have so many different voices and stories and places and themes that, again, the nerd in me just really loves no trying to mingle them all together in the right way. Not that there is a right way, but the best way that it's possible. So if you can't tell by the light, it's like almost nine. I get up at a little after eight. Again, it seems to be my trend to wake up at six, feed the cats, go back to sleep, wake up at eight, eight thirty. I'm I'm utterly failing and wondering if I'm going to make my five thirty AM goal for Preptober and NaNoWriMo, Honestly. And the problem is, is that I just keep staying up late doing stupid shit. Like rereading my book which is what i did last night up to like 10 30 rereading my book and then i pushed on my husband he's got a bad back so i pushed on him for a little bit and i ended up in bed like 11. oh and he pushed on my arms oh my god like these things carpal tunnel and just using my hands all the time eight years of hand grading papers <laughs> Anyways, just updating you guys, I am utterly failing in this waking up early thing and being productive. But I pressed publish on my book yesterday on the anthology I've been editing, so I'm just not caring at the moment. <laughs> it's terrible. Come Thursday, on my birthday, 5.30, I, can, I have two days to, to rev myself up for this. <sighs> it's just about follow through. If I can just do it for a week, I think I can just do it, but... Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go back to watching The Irish Reader, in just in case you don't know who he is. This young man is hilarious. So y'all, I had good intentions. I really, really did. <laughs> and this ended up being a hot mess. So as you guys see, the first two weeks I was pretty good at sticking with my designated wake-up time. And then it came time to wake up at 5.30 and I just could not do it. I couldn't do it. I tried for two and a half months. I am about halfway successful. So half the, half the time during the week, at least three to four days a week, I'm able to get up at six and stay up at six. The other half, I go back to bed until like eight or nine. Most of the time it's roughly eight o'clock when everybody else gets up. And y'all, I don't, I don't know why. I just can't, I can't seem to do it. Do I think that's a bad thing? I mean, one, I've improved and I do wake up more often earlier to get some more stuff done. I have also stopped taking so many naps. And when I don't take naps, I go to bed earlier and, like, stay asleep most of the time. I still get up at 6 every day, though, to feed the damn cats. Because Frodo likes to scream in my ear. Like, on my back, in my ear, pawing at my face, screaming at me to feed him. There's that. Then I crawl my ass back in bed. Because I'm, and half the time I could stay up perfectly well. Like it's just me being lazy, and I need to change that. I don't want to say it's a complete failure of an experiment because I have been improving my getting up and just being like steep, to... and just looking at myself in the mirror and going, Alicia, stop it. You're an adult. 
you can get up. It's not a big deal. Just do it. That's all I really need is to just do it. I have half the motivation, obviously, because I only have the time I wake up. But anyways, I don't really know how to comment on this video. I do prefer the quiet time in the morning when I do get up before the boys get up. It's very nice to just sit here and like look at my stories and outline and have coffee and just like a peace of mind. I get hungry at nine too when I wake up early and I'm cooking more which is both a benefit and a downfall because it takes more time out of me doing things but then I eat and that helps my metabolism I guess. Oh guys am I gonna be able to do 5 30 during nano? Like if I make this my job Will I be more willing to do this? Or should I just say, you wake up at 8. That's when you wake up. But then if I do that, I'm going to stay up later. And then I'm probably going to wake up later. Because I was waking up at like 9.30 when I was staying up until like 12. Writing and stuff. I just need to be consistent. So I'm going to stick with my NaNoWriMo plan. And work on 6, 5.30 to 6 a.m. wake up. So it's my, my range. I know I have 5.30 on my goals. But if I get up at 6, I'm still going to consider that successful. So... But I'm going to work on getting up earlier and continue to work on getting up earlier. Saturday now, by the way. What is today? The 10th? October 10th. <laughs> and I'm just rambling at this point. But I've gotten a lot of work done, guys. Like, the anthology's published. Thank God. I still have to do payments and author copies. But then after that, I have no other responsibilities other than b uploading blog posts. Which is not a very difficult task. And updating the website again. I should probably make that a weekly goal. I should start putting stuff on Pinterest and Instagram for for this anthology too to market it. I mean, I still have work. Like, don't get me wrong. I, if you're a writer and a marketer and own a business, you always have work, even when a project is out in the world. So, but that's Frodo, and that's what he does when he screams in my ear. Just contemplating my life and uh, how productive I am and want to be. And what I'm coming down to is I just need to wake up earlier. I just need to suck it up and do it and make it a habit. And once the habit's there, it'll, it'll be more natural. Can I write 50,000 words in a month? We'll see, I guess. If I can't even wake up at six consistently, what does that say about my follow through? I don't know. I failed. I'm going to try again. There's that. I'm, but I'm at... I'm ending the vlogging of this experience because I think it's just gotten, it's just gotten out of hand. Well, it's, this whole, this whole thing has gotten out of hand and I'm ending it. I'm ending it right now. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.